if, like I said, I, I thought that, I, I don't think I got an answer to why we in all these wars that we're not supposed to be in. You said it's the law. It's not the law. I, I it's just that they've been forcing us in. We have our hand forced. But more than that, we've allowed this to happen. The people of the United States aren't familiar with the constitutional process because we can't enter any war that we want to if we feel that it's representative of our nation's security, et cetera, et cetera. So when you say, I think we just have each other the same question over and over again, but this system is a great system, but it's being influenced by the money, but you said money rules the world, and there's got to be people behind that money to assist it in ruling the world. So if that's the case, then these policies that you say that are legal that are passed, because slavery was a law, I think. Wasn't slavery law in this country? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it was. So if the system is like you say, it's got to be some type of outside influence, because it can't be the people here that created the Constitution and said, okay, let's have slaves. So. This, but slavery was a law, and it went on for some time, if, I, if I'm correct. Both whites and blacks, I want to make sure of that point. So in you saying that the law is the law is the law, and I'm saying that the law is human error, and there's a lot of intimidation from outside factors that can influence our laws that we have. It's not the law is the law is the law. So your it question. Does, yeah. My question is, if the law is the law is the law, can people make mistakes in making a law? Because you said veto. Can people make mistakes in the law and say, okay, well, dang, I, I made a mistake. Now, there was some reason why it wasn't veto. I'm not sure why it wasn't veto, but I think because they had so many. Oh, good. Cheryl can answer that. But the point is, I think you, you, you are wrong in saying that. I don't know how, how to pose well, that as a question. Question, not a statement. Yeah, good. Well, I, I, so you're asking a question. Ask the question. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Oh, thanks, Lyle. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 15 words or less. Just like, oh, God. Uh, end it with a question. Because, right? you know, we're up, here, we're up here going back and forth, which is good. But at the same time, I think, I mean, I, I, I don't have really any more questions, I guess. I want to hear from the audience myself. You don't want to ask so, any questions? So you, you want to fight answer your last Y'all want my last one. You can ask two questions. So I, get to, I get to respond first. You get a response to and then a question. Right? Oh, even not. All right. Thing. Well, in response to your nine question. <laughs> question ish. Sorry, man. I was trying to ask you a quick thing. It is. It is. It is simple. If he felt so bad, all he had to do was veto it. It's that simple. He is the president of the United States. He is not obligated to sign any bill that comes in front of him. He can veto it. If he wants something changed about it, veto it, make it go back, and make them correct it. That is why you are called the executive of the United States of America. Because he has the power to veto anything given to him by the legislature of this country. So, that is not an excuse to come back after you have signed something and say, oh, I am so sorry I signed that. If you're so sorry, you shouldn't have signed it. It's that simple. Especially if you knew what you were signing when you signed it. So, back to my point. We all made mistakes. You said that uh, you still don't have any idea, you still can't understand why I haven't answered the question about why we are in these wars in Afghanistan and this, that, the other. I have said it and I will say it again. These wars are going on because it is in support of the military industrial complex who is benefiting and profiting off of these wars and it doesn't matter who wins. It's not a win or loss for them. As long as a war goes on, they win because they keep making money off of it. So that is your answer. Your answer is, why are these wars going on? Because you have a faction, a lobby in this country that is a very powerful lobby that? that wants prop the military industrial complex. Okay. It is not a person. It is a conglomerate of businesses that profit off of making the materials of war. And they pay good money to take 
their lobbyists to Washington and influence the legislatures to keep them fighting wars. And I did answer that. That's why I did say that because I said, so, oh, go ahead, go ahead. I, I did answer that. Okay. So that was your question. Yes. That was a question. Oh, no, that was no, no, that, that was, was my answer. Question. Yeah, yeah, my answer. And, I said, I, and I just said I answered it. I did answer that because of what I saw it. My question to you that you still have not answered me from the very beginning when you keep talking about international bankers, tell me who they are. <laughs> I guess I guess I, 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 guess, say, I guess we're just trying to break it down to who is the head of the No 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 it, 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 I just asked you a question. Okay. Tell me I who they are. I want to know who they are. Maybe, maybe the audience heard me before. Maybe somebody in the audience can say But, yes, said, but he's so saying Illuminati. people that you're using from your referencing from your books is from a hundred years ago. He wants to know today, in 2011, who's the current president the of the The Rothschild family is still alive and kicking. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe somebody. So it's still the Rothschild. Yeah, so it's and still the Rothschild, the and they brought in more forces, of course. But yeah. the Rothschild is still calling the shots. Where is so, they residing from? I don't know. I have no idea where their address okay, is. Really so, yeah, doesn't really know where so in other words, I mean, you're, you're, you're informing everybody else on your own ignorance because you don't know anything, right? I know that the Rothschilds are still in power. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't have their address. Do you have my address? I don't need your address. <laughs> That's right. You don't need my address. I don't need one, and we don't need their address. address. And we don't. But it doesn't matter. Which one do you go there? If they are controlling my world, I do need their address. You are not controlling my world, so I don't give a damn about your address. <laughs> I, but I, that's the soonest word I've ever heard. I've never heard yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Where are they from? Where are they from? Yeah, so you're going to run it in here. What country? Okay, once again, I'm going to tell you. Where do they pay taxes? They don't pay no taxes. Yeah. Oh. They don't pay no taxes. They collect them. Again. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the Rothschilds is a part of a group that runs the world. It's one of the biggest. Like I've said a million times in every presentation, yes, yes, and yes. And I haven't dug to get their you address. Do, I think you should be. If you're really concerned about getting their address, then go get it. Well, yeah. If you're really that concerned about getting their address, you get their address. Okay, you do want No, no, no. Oh, All right. But get, I mean, I, I don't know their address. I'm, I'm sorry, folks. I, I don't know their address. Forgive me. Look at them. Look at them. You know what? You know what? Look at them. Yeah, yeah. Well, they started out in Germany. Started out in Germany. Started in Germany. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. You know what? Uh, I'm, I'm glad for those facts. He's going to fight against them. But it's just for You know nothing like facts. All right. <laughs> First one. Okay. Uh, my thing is what you were saying, William. Anthony? Tony. 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 Okay. Uh, Anthony. Yeah, Tony. Everybody. Here's the key we need to look at what you're saying. This, this invisible hand. For a while, the mafia, they thought that was what? Uh, uh, like the boogeyman. It didn't exist. Then all of a sudden, we seen through what in the 1900s, early, they exposed it. We found out there was an invisible hand just at the local level. So we have to look, have to understand too that we got people moving and shaking and putting like, if I put a gun behind his back and say you need to do this, what's he gonna do? If you love, if you love, if your family loves, you're gonna do what it's what I say. So we still gotta look at people pulling the string behind people, and you can always extort people. So pretty much what you're saying is some of people are getting extorted. Or getting paid. Yeah. Can I say what more on it? Because the mafia, the mafia, even in the, in the 70s when the mafia came about, mm -hmm. there was a lot of Jewish influence that, that was uh, was uh, told to be kept out of that. Meyer Lansky was the mob boss of the United States, not not the uh, 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 Gambino family and, and all that. But the, but look at read the book up. Mike Collins Piper wrote about the JFK connection to find a conclusion to it, and he showed the huge Jewish influence that had always never been discussed. But the mafia was supposed to be an Italian, but it was it, it was controlled by the Bronfman family and Meyer Lansky and other Jewish figures that, of course, they never talk about them though. Right. You know, right. the Italians get a lot of publicity. Right. All right. Now, my answer to you is the thing that this gentleman is giving you is a bunch of things that, in his mind, don't have any legitimacy and you can't prove. But you know what? 